Okay, today we are playing a game on Hanamura. We are playing mostly Winston. We play a little bit of Reinhardt on the defense phase, but we are basically just playing Winston the entire game. And this is an unusual game today because this is game one of the finals for the Cow League, which is the competitive Overwatch League, which is an amateur league. Um, there were three games in the final, and we'll probably watch all three of them. But I didn't want to burden everyone with a video that's like your average Ice Age in length. So we'll split it up over a couple days. So today, game one, Hanamura. Our current team composition is Winston, Zarya, Tracer, Widowmaker, Lucio, and Mercy. So it's, it's new Mercy. So of course we gotta have a Mercy because why would we not want to have a Mercy? She's pretty, pretty crazy. And then we've got Winston, Zarya, Tracer, Lucio, the dive. And then we've got Widow, who can hopefully finish people off um, as we're diving on the rest of them. Though on Hanamura, it's a little bit hard to do that. But, uh, you know, we're in a league. We'll trust that the Widowmaker knows what they're doing. You know, this is the finals. We can trust that the team probably knows r roughly how to play the game. So, we're asking if everybody's ready. Well, I would like to talk about the comms more in this game, honestly, but we only hear one person in the replay, so... What can you do? So, we're saying that we're diving on Soldier. We don't actually look before we leap to see where Soldier is, and it turns out Soldier's all the way over there, instead of all the way over here. So, we just end up in an awkward spot where... We're just, like, waiting for our jump cooldown to jump back on the soldier. We also put our bubble in a really awkward position because we put it down up here. And, like, yeah, we gotta wait for our jump cooldown now. You can just walk further back across the balcony because all that really happens is we put our bubble down up here on the balcony and it doesn't do very much because, well, the rest of our team's kind of down there, you know? So our jump's up, we jump on soldier, we kill soldier... We've lost our Lucio, which is bad, but we've got a Mercy, so hopefully she can res him. And then we also kill their Anna. So they they don't have a Mercy, by the way, so they're just statistically a weaker team, frankly. Just like, you know, Mercy's better than Anna. It's, it's just how it is. So they've lost their only DPS, because they also have three tanks, by the way. Look at that. They got Reinhardt, Zarya, and Roadhog. So they got triple tank. Their, their other support is a Lucio, so... They're going to have a hard time fending off the rest of our team at this point, especially since Lucio also just died. So, we're not very good at fighting tanks because we're playing Winston, and we've just lost our support. But by the time we lost both of our supports, we had already killed basically their entire team. So, Soldier's here. Soldier shouldn't be here. Soldier's dead now. Um, he died too quickly for us to gain any real benefit off of that, but like he gives us a little bit more ult charge. So, we almost have Primal Rage built up off the first fight, which is cool. You know, it's not the greatest fight in the world, uh, ultimate in the world, so. Widowmaker has now changed to Genji, which is, you know, fair enough, because it's kind of hard to play Widowmaker against a team that's triple tank. You know, it's going to be hard for her to actually, like, pick people off. It's going to be hard for Genji to pick people off as well, but let's not focus on that too much. So, we don't really want to go top right, because think about our team, we're really fucking bad at walking through that doorway. So a better plan for us is to just walk through the front door, and then they'll come down to meet us, but, like, Soldier will probably stay up there. So then, we can jump up there as Winston, bully around the Soldier, and then, when he's dead, we can come back down and help fight, help our team fight the rest of, like, the team, you know? So... We end up no we end up misaligning the jump, and we don't actually land up there on the soldier, which is unfortunate. Genji actually ends up killing him while he's up there anyway. We also we don't have a Reinhardt, so we're kind of fucked when it comes to blocking Earth Shatter. So that's kind of scary. So their soldier's dead. He gets rezzed because they now have a mercy because they've realized the terrible mistake they were making. So now, if we're paying attention, we now know soldier's alive again because we see him in the kill feed. We're the only one on the team that's well okay we're the best one on our team to deal with the soldier because we're playing winston like yeah genji and uh tracer can but like it's winston's thing and we're bad at fighting tanks as winston so we should now just go on the soldier and be looking for him but we instead stay down here and we fight the tanks the entire time rather than like actively looking for the soldier. We're not good at fighting tanks as Winston. We die here, but we're going to get rest. Don't worry. So we're bad at fighting these people. We should be focusing on fighting the people we're good at, which is soldier and supports. Um, so 
but it, it's still going decently well right now, but this it's going to be a typical 2CP fight on the second point, you know, we're going to be here for a really long time. And we're not going to capture the point on this push. So we've just heard Soldier use Tac Visor behind us. And again, we're not actively looking for him this entire time. We're still just fighting tanks who we're bad at fighting. Then when we hear Tac Visor, we just, we don't know where Soldier is. But rather than look for him, we just put the bubble down and say for everyone to get in the bubble. We should really just be trying to kill the soldier because you can't just like let a soldier sit somewhere uncontested and he's like what we're good at fighting. We're not good at fighting like Roadhog and Zarya. We should be like on the soldier right now making his life difficult. And he ends up killing a bunch of people with Tac Visor because all we did was put the bubble down in the middle of the point and go, we'll just get in here. It's safe. Oh, fuck, you got shot. Oh shit. My bad. I get, oh, uh, uh. We, we should be looking for soldier. We're not, we're not fighting the people that we're good at fighting as Winston. Cause Winston's bad at fighting tanks. Um, worth considering changing heroes at this point because we are so bad at fighting half their team. Um, Diva or Diva can accomplish largely the same thing, but she's better at fighting tanks than Winston is. And, uh, Roadhog is good at fighting tanks because Roadhog has a shotgun, which is generally going to be better the bigger the target is that you're fighting. He's also good at breaking Reinhardt barriers. Um, or just Reinhardt to, like, meet their Reinhardt, especially since now we have a McCree instead. So we we have now kind of have a team that could also just, like, walk at them as well. So maybe just a Reinhardt to meet their Reinhardt. Winston's a little bit uh, not... So certain, because their team is triple tank, which Winston is going to struggle against naturally. So we have Primal Rage again, because the fight lasted that fucking long. We're still bad at walking up the right-hand side, so we just walk through the center. And this is very awkward, where we're the only one in the Graviton. But, New Mercy, she can just res us. Oh, it gets, it gets a bit scary, but she reses us. Um, could have considered using Primal Rage in the Gravity Well to survive it, because their team doesn't really do that much damage to Winston quickly. But also, New Mercy in the game, the fight just started, so she hasn't rezzed anyone, so we can just wait for the res instead. So, we're, uh, we're, we're fighting Soldier right now, he's not having a good time, he's dead now. Here's Mercy. Oh, we want to get the Mercy, oh no, oh, their Reinhardt's still here, hard for us to deal with the Shatter, because we don't have a Reinhardt. And that really, really kills our mojo, so, and we also lost Mercy during the fight, uh, unsurprisingly, considering the position she was in right before we got rest, so, it, it's not the end of the world, we didn't really use any ultimates, they used Graviton and Earth Shatter, um, we used Sound Barrier, so we did use an ultimate, but we've just lost Mercy, she just got picked off, so now we have to wait for Mercy, uh, we're not really waiting for Mercy right now, are we? Mmm... It's not going to work while Mercy isn't here, so we shouldn't really be posturing at the doorway because we're giving them ult charge. Don't forget, they just used two ultimates, so we don't want them to get ult charge off of us poking at them right now because we have, like, an advantage in charge right now. And now we've just lost Tracer, and she's died in a space that Mercy can't get to. And we just got two DPS up there, like, doing their own thing, and they've just gotten picked off. Oh, we had the ult advantage, but now this has, like, really killed our mojo. And, like, they're just building ult charge off of us this entire time. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, it was terrible. And, like, full six-stack tournament finals. Like, this, that sort of thing shouldn't happen at this point, where, like, just two DPS are off doing their own thing, and then just fucking get picked off right before the fight starts. Mercy also shouldn't have gotten picked off, but whatever. Sometimes it's gonna happen. Then we just sit our asses down and we go, we can't fight 5v6, especially missing our main healer. But no, and then two people get staggered right as Mercy's getting back as well. Oh, God. and like, they just used two of their strongest ultimates. Oh, 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 it's very sad. So, our team isn't actually like all back together yet, but they're getting back together at this point. So we can start coming out, push, trying to push our way in. And McCree was off doing his own thing. McCree had different ideas. McCree was trying to go up on the right-hand side by himself, but he ended up losing the duel to Soldier, which is quite sad, just, like, in and of itself. But, like, let's not dwell on that part too much. But, like, 
finals of a tournament, we got a dude off doing his own thing, and he just ends up getting killed for it. Shouldn't happen. This, this should not happen. So now we start a fight, 5v6, because we just lost McCree right at the start of the fight, and it's not going to work out very well. And we've had so many ultimates. We had such an advantage. But we've squandered it. We've squandered it and we've wasted like two minutes. Because the fight, that fight ended at like four minutes, now two and a half minutes. We have wasted so much time. And McCree's dead again. And they had used their two strongest ultimates. They have probably gotten those ultimate... Well, Reinhardt's got his ultimate back by now. Zarya might not have her ultimate back yet, but she's getting there. We have squandered a very good opportunity that we were given just because people didn't want to fucking wait. So, we're up here now. We've surprised the soldier. This gets very awkward very quickly because Zarya does have her graviton. So now, it's just two teams in each other's graviton, like six people over here, six people over there, throwing shit at each other. And it gets very awkward. They've got more, they've got better ultimates than us, broadly speaking, so they like win that scuffle. Soldier was actually down here, so it was five people and six people in the other. But, Soldier was down here, so he wasn't actually doing damage the entire time. And don't forget, they got three tanks, so their only DPS was down here on the point, like, shooting up at people, but not really getting that much damage in. So even though it looked like it was a pretty bad situation, we actually ended up with, like, a numbers advantage, because Soldier was in a bad spot, so it actually ends up working out for the best anyway. So, Soldier just tried to use Tac Visor, but he's fucking dead, so it doesn't work out. And there, we should be trying to find the Lucio right now because he's still alive and he, we're better at fighting Lucio than we are fighting the tanks. But at this point, we've got like overwhelming numbers. Oh God, here comes Mercy in her ultimate, but she got killed as did Soldier because of Deadeye. So this is the push that we eventually capture the point with. It's still a 2 CP map, takes a while, but like we're, we get there in the end on this one. We've almost got Primal Rage again, because it's, just, it's been, you know, that long of a fight, basically. So they're switching to stalling heroes, as you do. Uh, we end... Is it this round that we do it? No, it's not this round that we do it. There's a point where we really fucking bully a Roadhog, but it's not now. So here's Mercy. We want to kill her. We're bad at fighting tanks. We should be focusing the supports. Lucio is dead. Here's Doomfist. There's Reinhardt. Uh, it, it's a t you know, we're having a 2 CP fight now. Or we won the fight like 40 seconds ago, but we had to go through the rigmarole of actually fucking killing them all enough to actually get control of the point. So, now we switch over to the defending phase. Spoiler warning, we don't switch over to another at attacking phase. We win on this round. It's like, as, as you can see, we go the whole length, but we, we won't be here for an eternity doing this. So, we play Reinhardt here. So... Here's the thing, right? I would expect the the other team to come at us with mostly a dive comp, right? I'm expecting a dive comp to come at us, because I generally I we should assume that our the enemy team is going to play well until we're shown otherwise. We're in the finals of like a tournament, an amateur tournament, sure, but like we're in the final of a tournament, so we should assume they're going to come at us with something that is like generally considered like the team right which is a dive comp especially for a 2 cp map reinhardt's not very good against a dive comp because reinhardt doesn't like damage coming at him from all angles and it's like people he has trouble blocking so better heroes to pick would be someone like if we're expecting a dive comp a better hero to pick is like winston or diva or like roadhog even because like I would expect them to come at us with a dive comp, seeing as we just went at them with a dive comp, and we, like, captured both points. But also, dive comps are pretty good on two CP maps, so that's what I would be expecting to see. And Reinhardt struggles against dive comps. This is why Reinhardt has actually fallen out of favor from being, like, THE tank. THE tank is pretty much Winston at this point. So... We catch a glimpse of basically their entire team, and we see they do indeed have a dive comp. So this is going to be a fairly sad time for us as Reinhardt. We're backing up because we're anticipating them about to dive in, which of course they do. 
So now we are going to try and hit the Winston, but Zarya Bubble makes it hard to kill Winston. We charge right at them, uh, uh, you know, like, they are generally right in front of us right now, and they actually still have a soldier, so we do have something to block. If you pin someone, alright, it's great, but, like, it's pretty optimistic from that position. Better off just, like, trying to block damage, really, for people, and, like, trying to inch our way up to them. So two people died, both those people are alive again, but we had a Junkrat. Junkrat's dead now. And now we're dead, because basically we're up here by ourselves. Like, we should be falling back to the point rather than going forward, because we're losing the momentum in this fight. Right, we don't get to go forward because they're the ones with the tempo advantage on us right now. We should be falling back onto the point, not going in. Because we're the only one going in. Because we're losing the fight, so the rest of our team's going back, but we're going in. And we're not very good at going in because we're playing Reinhardt. Um, unless given a great opportunity, but like, that's not it for Reinhardt. So, we want to change to Winston, but we're really close to having Earth Shatter, so we don't want to change to off of um, Reinhardt right now. Junkrat's just changed to Reaper, which is a much better pick, considering they have a Winston Zarya, you know. So, I would just change to Winston anyway. Like, yeah, Earth Shatter's a good ultimate, but, like, when the enemy team's a dive comp, it's hard to land it anyway, and then you've got, like, uh, Zarya and Winston generally making it difficult, but then it's hard to hit most members of a dive comp because they're so spread out. Winston's uh, so much better against their entire team because he's good against, like, he's good against both their supports, obviously, because he's good against all supports. He's good against Genji and he's good against, um, Soldier. He breaks even against himself, obviously, and Zarya we can just avoid. It's not like she's going to demand our focus. Winston's so much better against their team comp that it's fine to drop the Earth Shatter in this position, or like the most of an Earth Shatter, because Winston's so much better against their team. And the scary thing as well is that like we lost that fight quite decisively. So if they come at us and just try for a straight snowball, which of course they're going to try and do, we might not even get a chance to actually do the Earth Shatter. Uh, I would just change to Winston regardless of charge because he's so much better against their comp. So they do make an attempt to come up here on the left-hand side. Their team's not great at it. The, that's so optimistic. Like, if they can just, like, duck out of the way of this, but, like... It's a Zarya. She, if she's walking forward, she's got her shift. There's no way this does anything other than give Zarya 40% charge. So someone's on the point right now. And we're calling that out. It's probably Winston because he's the only one we haven't seen right now. So Reaper should be able to deal with it by himself. Soldier's using Tac Visor. Ideally, like, I don't know because I can't hear the guy. Ideally, Soldier calls out that he's going to try and make this play where he jumps across with Tac Visor because then we can go with him at the same time because then we're like, oh, fuck, he's going. I guess I better go as well. And it's just like a little awkwardly out of sync when it doesn't need to be. So Winston has Primal Rage right now. And we attempt to pin him. It doesn't work, but we pin their Mercy instead. We've just heard Soldier, their Soldier put on Tac Visor as well. So... We're going to build Earth Shatter off of this, and we just saw Soldier charge past us, and he put him tack here and put Tac Visor on. He's in a fantastic position to use Tac Visor, and we're our team shield. At this point, I spin round and, like, see, can I Earth Shatter him? No, he disappears over there. Now Genji's using Dragon Blade, and he's using that to cut us. We can try and Earth Shatter the, the Genji as well, because Dragon Blade is also scary. Um, and trading Earth Shatter for Dragon Blade is trading up. Like, Earth Shatter for, uh, trading Earth Shatter for Tac Visor or Dragon Blade is tra trading up in terms of ultimates. Because Tac Visor and Dragon Blade, very consistent ultimates. Earth Shatter, decently consistent, but no, nowhere near the same degree as, like, Dragon Blade, which is, like, one of the best ultimates in the game. So we get back, and like, this is a drastic overuse of company resources. Like, they're all dead at this point. Like, we're trying to earth shatter two people, and then we miss them anyway when the fight's already won. Not a great use of company resources, but we can justify it by saying, well, I was just using earth shatter because I wanted to change to Winston. Got it. All right, so now we're playing Winston, much better hero to play against their team. They give up going through this way. Um, quite so. Do they try again? They give up, they start going through the doorway, 
as well after a point. So there's Genji over here doing his thing, and yeah, they just start walking through the center as well. Because their team's also not great at going up the right-hand side because they don't have a shield, basically. So walking through the center and then trying to, like, dive up at people is better. So Reapers manage to get a pick on their Mercy right as the fight starts. They're fucked. Like, they're just fucked. That's how it goes. Not to try and take the mis not to take, like, the mystique and tension out of something or anything, but, like... The final, like, you assume in this kind of situation, both teams are going to play pretty well. If you lose your main healer for free right at the start of a fight, you lose the fight. It's just how it is. They lose the fight. So now they got to go back and reset and try again. So, breathing space, we reset back up here. I don't think they ever try and come up the right-hand side again, or the left-hand side from Mars' perspective. We're halfway to Earth Earthshatter. Uh, Earth Shatter. Fuck it. It'd be scary if Winston did have Earth Shatter to Primal Rage. So we caught a glimpse of Genji's shadow over here. High qual high graphics quality paying off. So we come over here to camp this corner. They just walk underneath us. So this feels real good. And they waste their own Graviton as well. There's nothing quite as satisfying as just a Graviton team wipe, is there? So we use two ultimates to do that, obviously. We use Graviton and we used, uh, Reapers, uh, Death Blossom. But they use their Graviton as well, so fantastic news for us. They use one of their ultimates in a push that was no not gonna work, because, like, they're in Graviton, she uses it, oh, great. Now they're just Graviton right on top of us, but Reaper's already spinning, oh god. So their Zarya has changed to D.Va. Which is fine, because D.Va is not good against Reaper anymore, because Defense Matrix doesn't last long enough. So, arguably she's traded up from Zarya, but like, in terms of their actual team comp, they've traded down, because Graviton is like, Graviton Dragonblade is like one of the most guaranteed ways they're gonna try and wipe us to get the point, now they don't have that, that option's gone. So, as long as we make sure that these two dudes don't have any fun, it should all be perfectly fine. Because we should be able to trust Reaper to deal with, like, these two by himself. Like, he shouldn't even really need any help from us to make that happen, because he's so good against both of them. As long as we make sure these two dudes don't have any fun, we should be perfectly fine. Because now, the scariest thing that they could have done... Graviton Dragonblade can't happen anymore. So now the scariest thing that can happen is just Tac Pfizer or Dragonblade. So as long as we keep that, don't let that happen, which is our, our job because we're playing Winston. As long as we don't let that happen, we should be good. So we've almost got Primal Rage built up. Mercy's got um, Valkyrie built up, which is cool. Obvi Valkyrie's a really good ultimate. Zarya and Reaper, they got a long way to go. So they just walk in right underneath us again. We're not really like looking over this way very often, we're like, mm, oh, fuck, they're already here, shit. Oh, we're kind of taken by surprise by it a couple times. So, we hear Genji start using Dragon Blade. Mercy can use Valkyrie, so she just disappears away. He only kills Lucio with it, so she can just res him. She's hovering in the sky, like, what are you fucking gonna do about it, bitch? And Genji's like, oh, fuck, I need a bigger katana. So, it all works out. Their Mercy, dead. Reapers picked her, her again. They've lost their main healer right at the start of a fight. It's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. Not to ruin the allure or anything again, but like, it's just not gonna happen. That's just how it is. It doesn't happen. All they've got is a Lucio. Their Dragon Blade, it didn't work out. They also, so they tried to use Dragon Blade. All right, didn't work out. Their Winston also wasted Primal Rage because the fight was already starting to go downhill by that point, and then he used it. So, now, we've got alt advantage again, because they just used two of their ultimates, Reaper and uh, Zarya, are working on theirs again. So, it's going well. It's going well from our perspective right now. R also, they're not, they do not, the biggest problem with the enemy team this entire game is they do not do an adequate job of protecting their mercy, because they've already, two fights, they've already tried, they've lost mercy right at the start to Reaper. They can, this continues to be an issue. They do, their mercy just keeps dying really early in these fights. And then it's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. It's the worst person for them to lose right at the start of a fight. And they keep losing her. So, we're down here fighting D.Va right now. We kinda like, we hear Tac Visor, so basically everyone huddles in this ditch together. To hide out of the way. We end up losing Mercy, but our soldier had Tac Visor, so he kills people. We kill Genji. Reaper killed Winston because of course he did. So, 
even though we lost Mercy early on in the fight, they lost, like, half their team right at the start of the fight. So, they still don't get to do anything. And again, they used an ultimate, so now Soldier's got to start working on his entire ultimate again. We're going to be, like, we used Sound Barrier, which is, like, whatever. Like, it's going well from our perspective still. And they've only got, like, two pushes left in them at this point. It's not been going very well. We should probably win this one because we've got, like, pretty sick ult advantage going right now. So, realistically, they only actually have one push left because the best they could really hope for in this position is they push into us with no ultimates. We use a bunch of ultimates to fend them off and then they get one more try, but they hopefully have the ult advantage for that one. So, they're walking in the front door again and we see this is an attempted death ball. Right? They come in, and they want to dive on the person over there by themselves. And, like, they've got, like, a decent chance. We're pretty split up right now, right? Like, we got people up here, we got people on the balcony, and we got Zarya by herself. So, like, they got a decent chance of this happening. But, right, they dive in, and so these people diving in, and then we see Mercy back here all by herself. We really want Mercy. She's in the middle. She's basically alone. They don't have anything that can just stop us from diving on the Mercy, and then with Soldier as well, we finish her off. So, they lose their Mercy right at the start of the fight again. And, like, we lost some people, but we've got a Mercy, right? So Reaper gets up. Sold uh, Genji's using Dragon Blade. We've lost both of our supports, so this one's getting a little bit scary, because, like, their Dragon Blade did decently well this time. But, they still lost their main healer right at the start of the fight, so it's not good for them. Just, like, alt early in this situation, because, like, our support's dead right now, so no healing's coming for us. The If we die, it's possible we lose this point, just because, like, the fight's close enough that it could go either way. It doesn't go either way, like, still, like, their Mercy's gotten back just now, but, like, by this point, it's trying to salvage something that's already fucked, so Reaper uses Death Blossom just to, like, make sure this doesn't work, basically. So, now, they've only got one push left, basically. Maybe two if they recollect really quickly. So, we used, uh, uh, Death Blossom, so, you know, that's sad, but we do almost have Graviton, so, that's still good. Even if we don't have Death Blossom to combo with it, that's fine, because, like, just everyone shooting into the Graviton is pretty good in its own right. So, it's still good. We've got Primal Rage, Mercy's got Valkyrie. They used Ultimates again, because they used Dragon Blade and, uh, they used three Ultimates. They used Dragon Blade, Self Destruct, and Sound Barrier. So, things are looking pretty good for us as the final push starts. So, they actually managed to, like, find our soldier by himself. This moment really upset me because I've never seen such greed and avarice in my entire life. I couldn't believe what I had seen. So they've, they've found our soldier by himself, but we've come over here to help him. Drast, push the button. Push the button. <laughs> like, there's, this is their final push. There's no need to risk it. Just push it and I like, beat the shit out of D.Va. <laughs> there's, such greed and avarice. So, anyway. Doesn't matter. Mercy reses us. So, now we're getting a little carried away. And this is where things get a little scary, because now we're sleeped, right? They got our Roadhog. Oh, God, we're fucked. Best hope, slap the Q key and hope it goes through before they kill us. Does not go through before they kill us. So, they're coming in with Tac Visor right now. Mercy's hiding out of the way as one typically does when that's happening. They use self-destruct again, actually, so she built that one up quickly. But Mercy didn't die. She's got Valkyrie. It's going to be real hard for them because she has Valkyrie. They've actually got Sound Barrier again as well. They're doing a good job building their ults up quickly, at least. So we've got Primal Rage. Now we use it. Now we're going to make this dude real sad. So I would normally be concerned that like, we're focused on doing this and not really paying attention to the point. I would hope that in this kind of setting... People are communicating adequately that, like, if they need us over there, someone calls something out that makes us turn around and go back over there. So, like, we just make sure this dude doesn't have any fun, basically. Uh, he uses his ultimate, and he manages to kill Mercy, but, like, they're already losing this fight by the time this is happening. Like, it's not going particularly well for them. So, you know, I spoiled it earlier, but yeah, they don't win this push. 
easy money. So, the enemy, like, we didn't really have to do that much the second defending round, because honestly, the enemy team did most of the work for us. Because the best bet they had was Graviton Dragon Blade. They just gave that up, like, right here. They, their Zarya wastes her Graviton, it just changes to D.Va. D.Va is like a downgrade for their composition, because we have a Reaper. Reaper just kills D.Va. Like, it's just what happens now. Defense Matrix is not good enough to stop Reaper anymore. We didn't really have to do anything. Like, and then, also, they did, Reaper did a really good job, because he picked off their Mercy, like, at the beginning of a fight, like, three times in a row. It's insane. That's just three fights that we won right there, just because he picked off their Mercy right at the start. And then they never really learned. Like, Mercy just kept getting picked off right at the start of the fight, over and over and over again. And you come in with such a disadvantage. One of those fights went decently well, the one right at the end, where, like, we killed Mercy at the start, like, in the middle of them. If Mercy was just, like, a little bit more protected, or it's positioned further back, maybe it goes better for them, because, like, the fu that fight was pretty close, but just it's just such a disadvantage if you lose your Mercy right at the start of a fight. And if they've got a Mercy, it's even worse. If the enemy team's got a Mercy and you lose your Mercy, what are you going to do? Because the entire point of Mercy is like, oh, someone died, fuck, they're back up again. You lost your mercy. Fuck, you can't do that now. They've still got theirs. First person dies, they're back up again. It's, it can't, it's not, it can't, it's not feasible. You have such a disadvantage. So the enemy team did most of the work for us, honestly. And honestly, I think they had a, if like the diva just stayed on Zarya, they had a much better chance because then you can all, it, doesn't matter how hard it is to break through something. If you use a gap Graviton correctly, you break the choke point. That's just how it is, because Graviton's really strong. It's a very strong ultimate when used correctly. Because she used it incorrectly, and it didn't look very strong. Because she just... is. Oh. It's very sad. It's very sad. So, uh, for us, specifically, in this game... We spend a lot of time fighting tanks. We're bad at fighting tanks. We'd be trying, trying to find the soldier because he's the only DPS. If we kill him because he's the only DPS and we're good at fighting him because he's Winston, because we're Winston, um, they, they have no DPS hero anymore. So then they're at a significant disadvantage during the fight. And he's like our area. We're fighting people we're not good at fighting and like neglecting the area that we're meant to be dealing with. It, it is an issue. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer, and I hope you found the video helpful. We will watch the other two games in the finals as well, but not, not today. We'll split it up a little bit, or we'll be here forever.